lot of the kids that I've grow, grown up with and ran around with for time, we've kind of either grown away from them or vice versa, they've grown away from us, take the pick. They have ideals and I have ideals. I will accept theirs. They don't seem to want to accept mine. I've had many comments on my hair and my beard. You know, people want to know what happened to you. What really happened? I'm just, I'm me, same guy. I like a lot of people. But I, I fall into a category of something. How long has it been since you fixed the potato? Quite a while. Quite a remember, long time. That's you remember, far. it couldn't be that far back. See, I told you I wasn't being nasty and sarcastic, and you have to guess. Right. Strike out. I'm after you. Good. I'm running into the bedroom. You going to chase me? No. Oh. No, I thought you would appreciate a meal. Oh, the meals have been had and been fine. No, my idea of a meal is not for you to slave your ass off. I'm not. In the house, you know. I've just been lazy. Okay. I'm going to give you a raise in your allowance if you're a good girl. Okay. All right. What? You done? Okay, go play. What do you feel bad about? Can you start laughing at me? Just because she has to be the one laugh. Okay. There's not going to be a last. She's just next. No, but she's and then you're next. Well, Daddy don't let her get you. I can't help it. Well, maybe you ought to go and take a nap if you're uh, feeling so bad and so tired. I can't help it. Well, you're going to have to go to bed. Well, you're going to have to go She wasn't really laughing at you. She was glad. She was delighted that she got out of it today, that's that all. She, yeah, that she didn't have to do it today. So okay? Now you know right now how bad it hurts, right? Okay. So the next day, when Debbie has to do it, why don't you just ignore the situation and go do something else? When I went to talk, when I would call Terry, you know, about yesterday. Yes? Not informing me that I wasn't going, she said that, uh, her and Bill is split. Anyway, she came over and talked. This afternoon? All morning. morning. About nine to two. But they're just at the point, you know, like we were, that he's making a lot of money and ignoring. Household duties? No, just his his family. I mean, not not duties. You know, things that I was well, talking I mean, about. Needs that his yes. family has emotionally. He thinks all the problems are hers. And he doesn't see any problems, which kind of sounded familiar. Mm -hmm. But uh, now he's willing to go to a counselor. After she's told him to hit the road. Mm -hmm. I mean, her suggestion of going to see Paul or anybody, he didn't want to be drug off to the hills to any... Institution? No, any hippie... cult for a weekend. Is that what he said, really? Better have a talk with him. Am I a hippie? No, that's what he thinks we're doing. That's what he thinks we're involved in. Two faced. He likes you, he respects you, he likes me, but he thinks my views are way out of line. Because like you're a woman. And, well, uh. Screw him. Well, everybody we know says the same yeah, thing. True. Right? Mm -hmm. Because I don't crack a whip and I don't treat you like shit. I'm being led around. But I think he is looking to you. 
I honestly believe that if he would make an effort to be aware of what he is inside, to be sensitive to my feelings, to my needs, to Gina's feelings, and this will open a whole new world to anybody he comes in contact with. It will give him a different perspective on everybody he meets. This is what I want for him. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that that's a selfish want. I really don't. Well, I'm not saying that I have this capacity because it's hard to develop that capacity on your own when you're being stopped at every turn. I'm willing to go because I want to straighten my marriage out and my family out, you know. But uh, I, you know, my, well, my family, <laughs> me, folks. being brought up one <laughs> way and trying to see another way is very difficult. He talked to me for seven hours straight, and we cried together the whole time. And it was a matter of, he found out what, what a really neat person he really was. But for, for some reason, I couldn't get it across to him. It took somebody that, that, didn't, that wasn't involved with him, that didn't owe him a thing, and that wasn't even going to see him again. Wow, that's over. Yeah. It smells like it might be pretty tasty. <laughs> <laughs> it's the top four inches of the bush. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That ought to do it. <laughs> 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 well, it's oh. You're really starting to get lax. The machine, the whole thing. Ah, oh, you smelled it. <laughs> <laughs> First one we, the first one he ran in that yeah, man, it, it just came out so nice. It's like a small bomb. <laughs>
for all those records that aren't I'm fixing a little bunchy plate. Oh, wow. Three of my talents in the ship. What happened to your eyes, man? Did somebody take them from me? <laughs> yeah, man. He needs a couple of bands. How did it look from the inside? Oh, just easy, honey. I mean, you don't have to remove that vertebrae at all. Just easy. Hi, the shoulders. <laughs> I'm about ready to hit the back. So, thanks, John. Yeah. Where do you go home? <coughs> Grab my cigarettes, too, you got. And my lighter. Night, you guys. Later. He has made a lot of changes. And this is one thing that he has discovered about himself, too, in the last year, that he, when he has made up his mind about something, no matter what I say or anybody else says, that is what he's going to do, and he does it. I would say that probably the trucking company ran most of my life. I mean, from the time I got out of school and what have you, first six or eight years of marriage. Work was an excuse for him not to get close to the children and me. If he did get close to us, it would involve a responsibility on his part, and he didn't want this responsibility. Take the maxi off. Get your trailer brakes. That's extra sensitive on that trailer. Ten pounds of air application and it starts bouncing. Yeah. Does it do that when it's loaded? It doesn't do it when it's loaded. Didn't think it would. We had, we had a trailer. Yeah. Like that 40 foot box. Did the same thing. Bounce like crazy. I think we'll give you another tractor because of the clutch in that one. Yeah. But I don't think you're going to find any difference in the trailer. Clutch is slipping. Yeah, up in ninth and tenth gear, it's it's got two inches of free play. One thing you got is the uh, one out in the street there. Remember the complaints we used to get on 3106 on a food pair? Same thing. Ten pounds there. Lock them right up. Yes, sir. Anyway, there's your registration for 89. Uh, starting out in 58 as just a part-time boy in there to wash the trucks up, and then I just slowly went up. But uh, I was treated more as a son than an employee, and I was expected to operate like a son. They would tell you to do things without asking if you had anything to do at home or if you had anything planned. Then after I started changing my views, Things had to change down there, and I had a life of my own at home that had to be mine. I'll work for you, and I'll work hard. But if I don't care to work the overtime, don't get so upset, like I'm uh, one of your children that said, uh, no, I don't want to go to Grandma's house today. Uh, usually the secretaries on birthdays throughout the year bring in a cake or something and either just after lunch or mid-morning or something like that, we'll take a little break and sing this guy happy birthday or give him a funny card and things like this. A year or so ago when I started making changes and letting my beard grow and push them for more money, these little 
extra things kind of went out the window. We have uh, the cake and party routine for everybody down there. But uh, myself, it's been skipped two years now. My daughter was three months old and she didn't even recognize me. That's when it really hit that I hadn't been home in quite a while. And I was after a, a, a fantasy, you know, the big almighty dollar. I mean, you gotta, you gotta work to get it, but not destroy your home. Did you ever have that chat with the teacher you were trying to set up? No, I'll uh, leave go to the regular conferences. It's no, it's it's not the teacher's responsibility. It's these two right here, right here. The rudeness, the interrupting when other people are talking, not listening, closing your ears. Debbie, you're the one, and Daniel. Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. The yeah? Be What's happening? Just like it was for Danny last year. Well, uh, my wife informed me that you guys are going to be later. It's Late a lot tonight. of work. I don't know. Did Pat call you today? Yes, Pat called me today. I just okay. told you they're going to be late. Your wife called mine and said that you guys were going to be late tonight. See you then. <laughs> Bye. What was so difficult about saying, call me later? I wanted him to finish his conversation. That was more important than this? <clears throat> no. But I don't want to be rude to him any more than these kids are being it's rude to us. It's not a matter of being rude to him. It's a matter of saying we are in the middle of something important. Your wife called. She has already informed us of as what, you know, what is going on. There's no necessity for you to stay on the phone and have it repeated to you. If one of their friends came to the door, we would say, go. You've done this before, and I don't like it, and you know it, and yeah. this, I, we just, it you just blew, I mean, you know, it got blown, completely. What is the difference? They don't listen anyway. The difference might have been we could have gotten them to listen. down there today and you said stop by the house Mama. I knew I would get fucked up here for at least a half an hour which was about 20 minutes okay. and I wanted to get on the road and get it over with so my actions on the phone was more of a defiant child than a mature husband okay. if you'd have said eat that piece of cake I probably turned it upside down. Thank you. I love you. Mm. Let's help you get these cameras. Mm. Yes, Deborah. Let's talk to Daniel on this. Well, I, I no. really don't feel there's anything to talk to Daniel about. I think we better find out if that is what it is. Maybe it's a certain brand. Well, the thing is, it says right there. It's flammable. Yeah. Keep out of the reach of small children. Use with adequate ventilation. Avoid Avoid prolonged long, or repeated, repeated breathing. breathing of vapors or, or contact with skin, clothing, or furniture. Oh. Can I call down to uh, and find out what the law is on that? should be able to. Okay. Mission Park Police Department. Yes, I'd like some information on uh, buying the uh, modeling blue. Uh, what are the laws concerning that? Age regulations. Sir. 
Mm-hmm. Is it specifically not supposed to be sold to minors? Yeah. Okay, well, fine. Thank you very much. As long as they have the money, they can buy it. Oh, really? Wow. All you gotta do is have 15 cents. Dig up five pop bottles and you gotta make. So, it isn't always easy to tell what is a drug and what is candy, because some of these are candy. What they are? Mm-hmm. This one is. That is. This candy. Mm-hmm. And this candy. No. Ooh. It isn't always easy to tell, is it? This candy? No. This candy? No. Mama, this looks familiar. It looks like one of those um, red hot, so mm -hmm. red hot candies. But it isn't. It is. Put them down, so this is why, you know, we tell you, if someone gives you something, even someone you know, you can't always tell what it is. Remember Monday? I love Monday. At Indian Guides? What? When the adults were passing that candy around to test, and you kept telling those men that you didn't want any? Yeah. And then I said, Danny, it's okay, you can have some? Yeah. That's the same kind of attitude I want you to have when somebody offers you even candy at school. Okay. Like, if the teacher had you up here, what do you do? Just say, uh-uh, I don't want none. That's right. It's right. One, one tablet of something of the wrong kind of medication could make you very, very ill. Mama, or just make you go nuts. Some can. Mama, is, is there any LSD in here? Mm -mm. Have you been studying anything in school? Yourself? What do you mean? Or has anybody talked to you? Teachers instructing you, like Deborah? What do you mean about drugs? Or yeah. Debbie, don't Have play anybody with talked them. to you? No, no. no it's nothing to play with. Well, where did you learn? Mm. Is what you know. Precisely the question I was going to ask. Where did you learn that you could go nuts or go cuckoo in your head or whatever? I just guessed. Maybe something you saw on television or something? Hey, yeah, that was it. You can watch for our privacy. This is a safe thing to do. Right. <coughs> can't smoke if you're going to get rid of a double standard to a child. Well, this is what I, you know, what I want, what I wanted us both to think about and, and uh, talk over. With marijuana, are we going to quit smoking marijuana or are we going to tell them or just do it and let them judge for themselves? Well, that's... I'm not asking you for a decision. I'm asking you to think no, about I'm, it. This is just yeah. thoughts I'm tossing yeah. out. Yeah, right. But we're dealing with something now that has no age limit. It's, right. It, it is something that is illegal, not only for a child, but for an adult. How much of this filming is putting pressure on your thinking? Nothing. I, I mean, to be as honest as possible. I am being as honest as I can. I was reading through the things, and when it came to the double standard, you know how I feel about a double standard anyway. I mean, I'm sitting here stupefied. I don't even know what to say. It's just come down that it's given me, you know, things to think about that I never really thought about before.
I got a phone call from my older sister, and she wanted to know if I was smoking marijuana. And I told her that I do. And she wanted to know if this is going to lead to the hard drugs and all this other stuff. And I told her that I had no interest in hard drugs because I know too much about them and how dangerous they are, which in turn led to a family gathering where we got quite a few problems of the whole family out in the open. Maybe not all solved, but a better understanding. The kind of changes, the decisions we've had, the way we are living now, we have lost friends. And the acceptance of our family is not exactly, it's, it's just not there. It was just recently that we got the information that for the situation up here stinks. And this is from her own father. I just decided that I would have to do things that would please me and stop trying to please other people because it didn't work. Two years ago, I would have thought that you showed strength as a husband by what you provide. Strength with the kids would be, I don't know, I think it would be just domineering more than anything else. Because you can just close your mind and your ears to anything. But if you want to get into the problems and you want to help things, you want to make things easier for everybody, it takes a hell of a lot more strength to get involved. few other people I spoke to, you know, they said, well, what are you getting out of this? And I said, nothing, man. <laughs> you know, I'm doing it for educational purposes or, or whatever. It's a guy's making a film. Wow. Everybody thinks of number one. What are you getting? What are you doing? How much is in for me? Yes. People aren't that way all the time. They can't be. If they are, they've got to change. A lot of money in ignoring. Household duties? No, just his his family, I mean, not not duties, you know, things that I was well, talking I mean, about, needs that his yes. family has emotionally. He thinks all the problems are hers. And he doesn't see any problems, which kind of sounded familiar. Mm -hmm. But uh, now he's willing to go to a counselor. After she's told him to hit the road. Mm -hmm. I mean, her suggestion of going to see Paul or anybody, he didn't want to be drug off to the hills to any... Institution? No, any... Into a category of something. How long has it been since you fixed the potato? Quite a while. Quite remember, a long time. You remember, it couldn't be that far back. See, I told you I wasn't being nasty and sarcastic, and you have to guess. Uh, Strike out. I'm after you. Good. I'm running into the bedroom. You gonna chase me? No. Oh. No, I thought you'd appreciate a meal. Oh, the meals have been having have been fine. No, my idea of a meal is not for you to slave your ass off. I'm not. In the house, you know. I'm just gonna leave with you. She was glad. She was delighted that she got out of it today, that's that all. She, yeah, that she didn't have to do it today. So okay. Now you know right now how bad it hurts, right? Okay. So the next day, when Debbie has to do it, why don't you just ignore the situation and go do something else? When I went to talk, when I would call Terry, you know, about yesterday. Yes? Not inform me that I wasn't going. She said that, uh, her and Bill is split. Anyway, she came over and talked. This afternoon? All morning. From about nine to two. But they're just at the point, you know, like we were, that he's making a lot.
lot of the kids that I've grow, grown up with and ran around with for time, we've kind of either grown away from them or vice versa, they've grown away from us, take a pick. They have ideals and I have ideals. I will accept theirs. They don't seem to want to accept mine. I've had many comments on my hair and my beard. You know, the people want to know what happened to you. What really happened? I'm just, I'm me. Same guy, I like a lot of people. But I, I fall in. Okay. I'm gonna give you a raise in your allowance if you're a good girl. Okay. What? You done? Okay, go play. What if you live up? Then you start laughing at me. Just because she has to be the one laugh. Okay. There's not going to be a last. She's just next. No, but she's And then you're next. Well, Daddy don't let to get you. I can't help it. Well, maybe you ought to go ahead and take a nap if you're uh, feeling so bad and so tired. I'm not tired, Daddy. I'm not tired. She wasn't really laughing at 